Anthropic fires back with Opus 4.5, which is, well, cheaper, smarter, beating humans on coding tests. Tonight, the AI race just flipped because Anthropic has dropped Claude Opus 4.5 and the industry is saying one thing. This is the biggest jump Anthropic has ever made and it crushes Gemini 3, Codex Max and even human engineers in key tasks. This is Front Page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe and stay updated because the next breakthrough like this one will drop only on front page. So now, if we are ready for the magnum opus, sorry, Claude opus breakdown, here it is. For the last 10 days, Google has dominated headlines with Gemini 3, faster training, TPU dominance and the Google is invincible again narrative. Even the creator of PyTorch, Somit Chintala, said the Gemini 3 moment feels closer to GPT-4 than anything we've seen. Google looks invulnerable right now. End quote. Well, not anymore. Because Claude Opus 4.5 is finally here. And it's the first model this year that genuinely punches upward and above its weight. It beat Every human engineer Anthropic has ever tested. Claude took Anthropic's hardest two-hour engineering exam, the same one used to hire performance engineers. The result? Opus 4.5 scored higher than every human candidate ever. This raises the biggest question of the year. If AI beats humans in engineering tests, what happens to engineering itself? Hmm. Well, till we mull over that, Claude 4.5 crushed every major model on real software engineering tasks on SWE Bench Verified, the gold standard for realistic coding tasks. Claude Opus 4.5, 80.9%. GPT 5.1, Codex Max, 77.9%. Gemini 3 Pro, 76.2%. Sonnet, 4.5, 77.2%. So, this is basically fixing real code bases, multi-file bugs, dependency reasoning, things only senior engineers used to do. It's actually 65 to 76% more efficient. And this is the sleeper headline. At medium effort, Opus 4.5 achieves Sonnet 4.5's best scores using 76% fewer output tokens. So at high effort, it beats Sonnet with 48% fewer tokens. The translation? Better than Gemini 3 and GPT 5.1 at almost one third the cost. Anthropic just broke the frontier models are too expensive barrier. Cloud now has infinite chat. Context windows, well, gone. Claude automatically compacts, summarizes and manages memory, giving users essentially unlimited conversation length. This is a direct punch at GPT 5.1 and Gemini 3, whose context limits still break at scale. The agents can now self-improve. Honestly, this is actually quite wild. Rakuten. One of the early testers saw something new. Claude agents refined their own skills, learned from past attempts, hit peak performance in just four iterations, while other models failed even after 10. Not weight updates, but strategic self-improvement. This is the closest we've come to agents that learn their own workflows, not just tools. So the real story. And why does this matter so much? Well, this launch is bigger than a benchmark victory. It shows three strategic shifts. Shift one, the AI race is no longer about raw IQ. It's actually about work IQ. Claude 4.5 performs. 30 minute autonomous coding, multi-agent orchestration, Excel automation, browser workflows, slide, plus doc generation. 
This is basically a junior engineer, a project planner, a researcher and an analyst in one model. Shift number two. Anthropic is pulling ahead on alignment and reliability. Claude 4.5 showed the best robustness against advanced prompt injection attacks in the entire industry. This matters because enterprise adoption depends on trust banks, healthcare, aviation rely on predictable models, safety and stability now differentiate winners. Anthropic is betting on trust first enterprise AI and Opus 4.5 proves the thesis. And now, shift number three. Pricing war begins and Anthropic just escalated it. Opus used to be the premium model. Now it is $5 per million input tokens, $25 per million output tokens compared to Opus 4.1's 15 slash $75 respectively. This is like, well, Anthropic declaring we are coming for enterprise dominance, which OpenAI has been quiet, struggling to crack for a while now. And finally, here is the front page take. Gemini 3 had the momentum. GPT-5 had the brand. Claude Opus 4.5 just walked in and rewrote the scoreboard. This model beats GPT-5.1. Codex Max beats Gemini 3 Pro, beats Sonnet 4.5 beats every human engineer Anthropic tested, undercuts everyone on price, introduces infinite chat, brings self-improving agents, slashes, token costs, raises the bar for coding, enterprise and alignment. And this is no longer a three-way fight. It's actually a four-axis war. Performance, reliability, cost, automation power and for the first time in months, Anthropic is the one forcing Google and OpenAI to respond. The AI race just actually reset itself. And honestly, take a step back for a second and let's view this from the macro level. Google drops Gemini 3, OpenAI panics and rents Google's TPUs and partners with Foxconn and Broadcom. Anthropic fires back with Opus 4.5, which is, well, cheaper, smarter, beating humans on coding tests. All of this in just a few days. So if you blink, did you right now? Good. You miss an entire generation of AI. The ecosystem is moving so fast, it feels unreal. Models upgrading every week. Agents learning new skills and companies racing like it's a billion dollar sprint. So here's the real question. Are you keeping up? Because your friends, your team, your company, most of them have no idea how insane this pace really is. And if you're watching this, you're already ahead of 99% of the world. Share this with your colleagues, founders, engineers and anyone who needs to understand just how wild the AI race has really become.